Americans are at the mercy of the Taliban amid the Biden administration's unmitigated, unprecedented failures, lack of commitment to guaranteeing that all Americans get evacuated safely. Tonight, we're following the story of Sabir Nasir. Now, he worked as an Afghan interpreter uh, for U.S. forces for years. He's living in the U.S., but he's desperately trying to get his family out of Afghanistan. Joining us now to explain more, along with Fox News contributor who's known Sabre for a long time, our own Sarah Carter. Uh, Sabre, first, our thoughts and prayers are with your family. What are you hearing on the ground? And there were many thousands of people that were promised by our government if this day ever came, we would get them out safely. Is that correct? Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, yes, uh, I fought for this country. Uh, I served 11 years for U.S. Marine Corps, and uh, uh, but now um, I lost my fingers in the war. Uh, the Taliban, they cut my fingers off. They cut my bodies, all that. I got a lot of shrapnels. I worked for Navy SEALs, U.S. Marines in Afghanistan. But right now, the Taliban, uh, they are hunting my family because the this country they made a documentary movie about me I, I I won the Hollywood award Amy award a lot of award I won and my family they are in a movie too John John Allen and other other colonels and journals that they work with me the Taliban they just cut my cousin neck off a couple of days ago that they moved from Baghlan province to Kabul and they are hunting my family my family and my brother family they all living close to the airport it become one week I didn't sleep I didn't eat good and I didn't I'm 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 very worried about my family I might I might lose my my family and I'm asking from Mr. Uh, Joe Biden that he broke his promise and he left my family and other uh, American allies behind. What's your answer for humanity? For me, that I support and sacrifice for this country. Now I need yeah. your help. What you will do? Thank you. Sarah, um, you know many people, by the way, and our thoughts and prayers are with your family tonight. You know many people like Saber, Mr. Nasir and his family. Right. Um, they were promised this, and then we have untold thousands of Americans. We don't know how many. We right. just know they're behind enemy lines. How do you get told to go to the airport? We suggest you go to the airport. We can't guarantee your safe passage to the airport. Okay, not very comforting to me. It seems that we are at the mercy now of this brutal terrorist supporting organization and terrorist organization. You're absolutely right, Sean. It's complete uh, chaos. I've been on the phone all day and night. Uh, Saber knows this. Um, I've been talking to my friends, people that I consider family in Afghanistan, just like Saber, who have said that they, their, their mothers have been beaten, their sisters have been beaten, people have been slaughtered outside the gates. I know right now people have even arrived at the gates, even with American passports and visas, to enter into Kabul airport, and they've been turned away because there's so much confusion at the gates right now. There were planes that literally lifted off the ground today with empty seats because nobody knows who to let in or who to let out. It appears that even at the embassy, everything was burned, even the visas. So when they destroyed everything, they destroyed all the information. Right now on the ground, people are trying to get it together to get people out of the country. Sean, I just want to say one more thing. There are amazing Americans who I can't mention right now who are helping people over there, both Americans and Afghan allies. They are